Hi, welcome to Gadgets 360. AMD has returned to competition in the high-end PC space for the first time in nearly a decade with a new line of CPUs called Ryzen. Here's 10 things you need to know before you go out and buy one. First of all, this is a staggered launch. AMD will be addressing different parts of the market, from thin fanless laptops to high-end servers throughout 2017. We're starting off with Ryzen 7, three high-end CPUs for desktops. These are the Ryzen 7 1800X, 1700X, and 1700. Second, AMD uses the letter X to differentiate its higher performance products. The Ryzen 7 1800X and 1700X have higher clock speeds and higher TDPs of 95 watts as opposed to 65 watts. This allows them more thermal headroom for a feature called XFR, which allows the CPU to push itself beyond its rated limits. For example, the Ryzen 7 1800X has a base speed of 3.6 GHz and a boost speed of 4 GHz, but it can push itself beyond this if your cooling solution is good enough to keep temperatures down. Number 3. You'll need a new motherboard with an AM4 socket in order to use a new Ryzen processor. New models are already available from Asus, Gigabyte, MSI, Biostar and ASRock. AMD also has three new chipsets, the X370, B350 and A320 in descending order of price and features. Fourth, AMD says that Ryzen delivers up to 52% better performance compared to its previous products. The Ryzen 7 1800X is meant to compete with Intel's much higher priced Core i7-6900K and AMD says that it delivers better or equivalent performance in most situations with lower power consumption to boot. Number 5. All these performance improvements are thanks to the new Zen architecture which AMD has been working on for over 4 years. Zen will be the basis of all AMD CPU products in 2017 and beyond. AMD has developed what it calls a core complex, with 4 Zen CPU cores, each with its own L2 cache and shared L3 cache. There are two of these complexes in each Ryzen 7 CPU which make for 8 cores and 16 threads. Lower end CPUs will have different configurations. Number 6 is what AMD calls Infinity Fabric. This is the material running through its CPUs that connects all the parts to each other at high speed with low latency. It also has hundreds of embedded sensors which measure speed, temperature and voltage thousands of times each second, allowing the CPU to dynamically adjust itself to any workload. Number 7 is performance. We've tested a Ryzen 7 1800X CPU in our lab and we can tell you that most of AMD's claims are in fact true. Performance is equivalent to Intel's much higher priced products in most situations. AMD also tells us that it's good for people who want to play games and encode video streams simultaneously or work on creative projects most of the time and game a little bit on the side. AMD also tells us that future workloads will benefit from Ryzen. However, simpler workloads like just gaming don't benefit much from Ryzen's core count alone. Performance isn't necessarily better in cases where only a single CPU core is used, but Ryzen still has a price advantage compared to Intel. That brings us to point number 8, which is price. The Ryzen 7 1800X is priced at 37,999 rupees, while Intel's Core i7-6900K sells for over 85,000. The Ryzen 7 1700X is priced at 29,499 rupees, while the Ryzen 7 1700 without the X is priced at 24,499. These three CPUs and the motherboards to support them should be available at shops around India, although stocks might be low and prices might be a little inflated right now due to high demand. Number 9 is the fact that Ryzen is a brand new platform and software developers haven't had a lot of time to optimize for it yet. You can expect patches from software developers and from Microsoft that increase general performance over time. Finally, point number 10 is competition. Intel isn't going to be sitting still and is already rumored to be working on new Core i7 and Core i5 CPUs in its current Cabby Lake generation. This is great news for buyers who will benefit from more competition. We also hope to see Intel shake things up when its next generation launches later this year. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Gadgets360.